All right, so I've heard a little bit about uh, the anxiety that some people are facing now that uh, the restrictions are easing and people are you know, facing work again, going back to work. Um, a, a lot of people have hated the time being in, locked inside their homes, whereas I know a lot of people have quite enjoyed it. They've uh, been able to dress as they wish. They're able to save hours on their commute. Uh, they're able to be closer to their fridges um, and to have lunches with their families at home. So how do we, what's one perspective, how do we face this time and readjusting um, back to, uh, you know, what was previously our normal work lives or as normal as they can be given uh, the times in which we live. And so I want to share with you this, this idea about Avram and Sarah, the very first Jewish couple. It says, the Torah describes them and their productivity in their lives. It says, for Avram and Sarah zakenim ba'im ba'yamim. Avram and Sarah were old. They were advanced in age. They were old. Um, they were coming in days, literally. Ba'im ba'yamim. Literally means advanced in days. And the question is, why does it say advanced in days? It should have said advanced in years, or just they were old. Why the point um, of stressing that they were coming on in their days? And one answer that I read is that is that it literally says days because they were able to advance every single day forward. They were able to, to point to every day and say, look at what I achieved in this day. They had, every single day was productive. Every single day had intention and had meaning. And I think for us as well, as we face this you know, new time, kind of going back into the workplace for many of us, uh, many of us have different feelings and emotions. I mean, for some, perhaps this period of isolation has pointed out that maybe we're in the wrong professions. Maybe we don't really want to do what we're doing. For others, they may realize that they actually miss lots of, lots of aspects of their work. Uh, a few things they don't like, but overall, they love what they do. And so maybe this will lead them to having productive conversations with their employers. Maybe they can tweak how they do things. And uh, perhaps others will just absolutely love it and I uh, can't wait to get back to work, which is fantastic. But I think uh, for those who are struggling, for those perhaps who are facing a little bit of anxiety, not knowing how they're going to go back into it. Number one, just know that just like you, ad you adapted to this phase of being at home, and isolation, you too will adapt to whatever happens, whatever um, comes forward in your path. You will readapt to life um, in the workplace. That's number one. And number two is that um, perhaps a, a tactic you can use is to set your intentions every single morning. Just like Avram and Sarah were, were achieved something, they were intentional every single day with what they wanted to do. Perhaps we can also wake up every day and set out our intentions. What do we hope to achieve today? What are our goals for today? How can we bring more meaning into our lives and into our workplace? And I, my hope and prayer is that through doing so, we'll be able to look back at the end of the day and point to ourselves and say, look at what I achieved today. And I'm really loving what I'm doing because I'm finding meaning in what I'm doing. And so best of luck with everything that we are facing currently. Those going back to work, much hatzlacha, success. God bless and stay safe.